back on this same site where I dug the large scent, which was right over there. And oh, we've dug a lot of toe taps out here. So we're just going to see if there's anything else to dig out here. I've tried a couple more permissions today. One, I just got a flat nope. And the other one, he said, sure, go ahead. But old house site, but nothing there at all. I, I don't know if the ground was scraped. Went down to the river. And it turned out, right whenever I was getting ready to get the kayak out, a whole big party of people pulled up. So I just turned around and left that site too. Came back here. We'll see what we can do here. Hope we find something. A lot of iron out here. see some of the iron there, I think, in that plug. Now there's some green. I got a little bit of a suspender buckle. It's pretty. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. I'm getting a good 66, 65 signal here. 67. Still in the hole. Mine's right down here in the middle. Oh. Where is it? Kind of all over. Oh man, shotgun shell, head stamp. Well, as you can see, I changed shirts. It's so hot out here. I'd soak the other one. I got a signal, it's a 50, but it's deeper than what I thought it was going to be, so I thought I'd record it just in case. That's the only bad thing, that dirt is so tough. Can you hear me grunting? Oh, <laughs> you see what that is? Another toe tap. Huh, ring up 50. It's a pretty green color on that one. Oh, that's kind of cool. Alright, on to the next. Alright, it's hotter than blazes out here, but it's not real humid. And there's a really good breeze, so that's pretty nice. I got the AT Pro. I've been switching back and forth between the AT Pro and the 3030. So, see what this is. It's so good. Not another shotgun shell. You're kidding me. <sighs> that's a little frustrating. Winchester. I just popped this little spoon. It's dried out because I had to walk back and get my camera. But kind of unusual. A little end on it. See, it's got a little hole. I'll bring it up close here so I can keep it in the focus. Kind of odd. It's like it's one of those that's off a knife, doesn't it? Alright, I just dug a signal under that, which you know what that is, and how they always sound off with the signal, but it turned out to be just some old uh, pieces of brass. And now I got another signal over here, one of those, I'm over here, no I'm over here, no I'm over here signals, so let's see 
see if we can figure out what's in this hole. I'll move the camera around. Yeah, you can see it better. That's not iron. Nope. Oh, nice. I think that's just color, yeah. All right, nice little suspender buckle. It's cool. Let's put, bring that up into the camera. It'll keep it in focus. deal. Alright, I changed shirt, hat, and everything again because my other one's not so hot. But anyway, well, it's time for the wrap up. I don't have a lot today. I'll show you. So, the junk, whole lot of shotgun shells. And just miscellaneous iron and brass. The good stuff, that thing really gave me a start when I came out of the hole. I just saw the edge of it like that. I thought, oh, but I was confused because it rang up a 45. Anyway, it's just a watch back. Modern. Anyway, the good stuff, uh, that mess kit spoon or whatever it is, um, toe tap. This is a piece of porcelain pottery and a piece of lead. But Another toe tap, two suspender buckles, this saddle piece or whatever it is, I'm not sure. Some miscellaneous lead, a bucking ball, and that shield nickel, which I'm pretty happy about. That was the day maker for me today. So, pretty pleased with that. Hey, thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.